My name is Mary Galay, and I'm going to share with you a walkthrough of the Memorial Art Show I did of my husband John Pierce's work shortly after his death in 2009. He began his career as a photographer and a photographic illustrator after going to Brooks Institute in Santa Barbara. His interest in vision and how we see and how we put images together allowed him to experiment in, in creating three-dimensional images on two-dimensional surfaces. And he, he started doing this in photography and worked through paintings and eventually worked with, in the, in the early 80s, started working with digital images. So I'm inviting you to walk along with us. We're going to, we're going to see the lithographs from early San Francisco and one of his first silk screens, one of the first major silk screens. The lithographs are of San Francisco scenes plus Timothy Leary from Altamont. And then Triad, which was an exceptional piece. I think that must have been six screens. And there's some computer pieces and there's the uh, Grateful Dead album cover. That's cool. And then we go into photography world with the cameras what's left of them. And that's the Palace of Fine Arts, and to the right, a little bit of Escherimerica, and some of the commercial pieces. And then we go to the wall of John's latest. These, are, these were the things he did in the last year and a half or two years. The most successful piece is the one right in the center. That was, that was his last piece. photo silk screen. It's a serigraph. And you know how the printing process uses dots? The four colors? Well, that's what, the, that's what this is, but it's done, um, th it's printed through silk instead of ink on a, on, a, on, a, on a plate. These are just some of the photographs, and that's San Francisco Studio, the first one on Harrison Street. And down here. That's just one of John's self-images, or self-portraits, one of several. And that's digital. Most of that is digital. And these are photographs, mostly commercial. These are the silk screens. There are about, oh, 30 different silk screen images and several hats. That's a, uh, that's, they're photographs that he digitizes and makes 3D. And this guy up here, that's, that's a puppet made by an artist friend, and its name is Zero. The antlers were made by two elk. So this is Zero. All right, Zero is made by Pat McFarlane. Those are two commercial assignments. And that's one of John's self-portraits. It's called Morning After. And that's one of his newer pieces, the Saint Foil. We snuck in a commercial photographic piece. And these are the fusion pieces. And these are the piece, these are the fusion pieces. Did that change it? It's an optical illusion that if you can throw your focus out, often staring at your your thumb in the foreground, the two pieces that are actually in that painting will come together in a 3D effect. Leaving the main studio, we're into the culinary studio here. Perfect. And these are what type those, of work those are, are these? The, those are they're 3D paintings. They're acrylic on board. And there's um, the birch trees and Queen Anne's lace and a little sang foil.
Um, the top one is a print of a larger print. It's called Manana, and it was from Santa Barbara. Our efficiency apartment, quasi studio, and below it is a piece from one of the Santa, Santa, Santa Barbara um, street scene, self portrait. I think he did that for a show, but I can't remember which one. And the eyeball is called Who Am I? And that's also from San Francisco. Yeah, this was during the Las Vegas years. And uh, same thing here. So we've got the rest of Las Vegas, and then we're going into the digital photographs and the 3D paintings. Most, of, all of this was done in 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 my, I mean, in Wildwood. And over here, more paintings. Most of those are from Wildwood. On the shelf are the digital photographs. Well, they're photographs that he rendered 3D and hit the magic of John Pierce. They're amazing. I know it's not going to pick up on the, the 3D effect. It may, it may, we'll see. And all of these scenes are from, I shot most of the actual photographs. He did the, of course, the 3D-ness of them, but they're all from around here in the wood. We do, I do this woods walk. These are the paintings. These are some of the last paintings that he did. And these are here in Wildwood, too. Mm -hmm. Redwood, and it's another serigraph on, on uh, plexiglass. And this was done in 75. It's held its color. It's, it's amazing. I am so pleased. <laughs> these paintings along this wall are on canvas. And they're, they're 3D. Most of them were done since we've been in Wildwood, back in Wildwood. That's that one, the big one is Cedar Creek. And of course, Morales and Amanita. The black and white is actually an old photograph of a morale, but I thought it fit. This, of uh, the Bay City piece, was a, a billboard on 75 for several years he did it for the downtown bay city association but it's a pretty cool it was a cool billboard it was fun and then those are more those are the winter uh 3d digital picture series and the trillium the two black and whites on the right are films that stand out nicely against the white wall so i put them there well, these are 3D. Most it's Trillium, they're on canvas, and uh, Queen Anne's Lake. Yeah. These are the Amanita. Mm -hmm. And that's digital. Mm -hmm. And so that's is this an supposed Amanita. To, yeah. And the Morel. Uh, the Sportsman in Santa Barbara, famous, famous sportsman bar. And John's in there doing the drawing. And below that is our apartment in Santa Barbara, rendered by John. The one on the table is a, a birch bark configuration. With leaves. He had fun with that one. What I here with these is that I ran out of wall space. So we've got, there are a lot of other paintings that are experimenting experiments in achieving that final 3d feeling well this is that's one of those wonderful pieces that he didn't date but this was this was definitely wildwood i think this was when we were at the church so it would have been the late 80s this wall going down this wall are the studios that we've had over the years some of them anyway and the first one was a flat studio we had on Fowl Street in Santa Barbara. Below that is the place we had in Bay City. Though that's um, the old Odd Fellows Hall in Milan, Michigan, which is just south of Ann Arbor. And it was it was an incredible place. It must have been 120 feet deep and maybe 40 feet across. 
and this one. That's also my length. That's if you walk through the one on the top all the way back, you get to that room on the bottom. Okay, this was this was um, the fourth floor of the old Milo Coffee Company in San Francisco, and it was a poured concrete building. They roasted coffee here. All the buildings ne around this 759 were two-story. And because they, it was a poured concrete building, and the walls were all gooey from, from roasting coffee, and the only thing we could cover them, we couldn't paint them, so we covered them with billboards. And if you could look in the fourth floor window, that's John's desk. And then through the little doorway is the dark room, which is down here. You walk into the, that's the dark room. And it's all billboarded and the wooden sinks and the enlarger and all the antique photographic equipment that you don't need anymore. And you'll see in the top picture, on the left hand side, the hint of the barber pole. You see it there? Mm hmm Okay, that barber pole is right here. So if you came down this hallway, that's like the kitchen area and the elevator, and then there's that other doorway, and that's into this part of the studio where it did silk screens and 3D photography and bands rehearsed. And that was Santa Barbara again. These are these are set uh, wildwood. The bottom two are winter, but those are watercolors. 3D watercolors. He even got the 3D in watercolor. It's summer and fall and winter. This is definitely winter. Yes. <laughs> Most of the pieces in this room are Santa Barbara, and that's um, that's a self-portrait at our friend Terry and Gunner's house in Santa Barbara with her beautiful flowers. And then as we go down the wall, those are their paintings from from Santa Barbara downtown and the beautiful architecture. Some of them, the two of the mission with the fountain, are fusion. And they're all, but they're, instead of the one big piece that we had in the other room, two smaller pieces, but you can do the same thing. Just bring them together as one if you can throw your focus out. And there are a couple of other sets. These are from uh, Point Reyes in Northern California. And they're airbrushed. The, the, the gall on the bottom is airbrushed in acrylic. I just put a sketchbook and stacks of sketches and paintings for people to leaf through. These are a couple of sketches? Yeah. From the sketchbooks. Yeah. But I do like that watercolors. Uh, that looks like Colorado. This is the boat harbor. There's a lot of com commercial fishing in Santa Barbara and these are the commercial fish uh, boats at the, the harbor. This is the courthouse in Santa Barbara, which is an amazing building, amazing building. And these are digital renditions of it. And John played a lot with the courthouse, with the images of it. Inside of the sportsman. The inside of the sportsman. And you can see John's sketching pen. Another self-portrait when he had hair and lots of hair. These are, most of the paintings in this room were done since we've been back in Wildwood. He got really prolific, didn't he? And they're 3D and of sunflowers and Queen Anne's lace and One nice thing about doing this was seeing all this work in one place and watching other people react to it. Mm -hmm. That was a mind blower.
he really had a good time. Just as a point of reference, that's the church, which you'll see in these paintings that we'll show in just a second. Mm -hmm. This is the same scene from the mm -hmm. window. Except this is he's this is a self portrait in a mirror. And that's the winter church. Look how small those trees were. <laughs> And the church, and more Amanita. And then, this guy. Who's this guy? Which one? The big one? Yeah. That's um, snow covered boughs. Oh, those are, those are illustrations to two pieces that I wrote. This is artware. Those are images that we did on t-shirts and nightshirts. And... Oh, that's, that's airbrush. Okay. That's from the church, inside the church, looking at summer and fall. 3D paintings. They, this one is, my, the bottom one is mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's fungus that grows on, on bark. Yep. And the top one is just pretty flowers. And this small morel was found right outside the door in 2004. It was, as a matter of fact, under the porch in the back. We didn't even eat it. We had it dipped in bronze and hung it from the rearview mirror. That's here. lily. It's acrylic on canvas. These are from photographs? They're, yeah, they're, did, they're photographs that he digitizes or digital, digitalizes, whatever the hell he did with them. This is in the Redwood Times? Yeah, it was probably in the 70s. So this is more than a thumbnail of John's work. This is probably both hands clapping, but... Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you want more information or to learn more about his work, we have a website. It's johnpierceart.com, and you're invited.